Welcome back to Quits Gaming. My name is Silvermort, and we are back to playing Underdate, which uh, I'm surprised that any of you actually like. <laughs> Apparently, I did not anticipate this, but there are as many of you out there who are interested in the uh, the small, like, fan-made games of these, especially the dating games, as I am, mm -hmm. as opposed to some of the other games I've been playing, like Soma, which got, like, a ridiculously low amount of views compared to these. So I guess I'm doing something right. So we're going to focus on dating games for a while longer. So back to Underdate. A training dummy springs to life in front of you. Of course it does. Fucking crazy training dummy. Not... Not really shocked. I knew you'd be here, but do or die. Okay. Oh, that song. I actually liked this song. Deadly round of trivia. That's actually kind of uh, surprising. Okay. Even though, wasn't it Metaton who does all of the trivia? Like, I don't know, whatever. Yep, trivia questions. If they get it wrong, they die. Tonight is also a deadly dead night. Couldn't think of a better name. So, if they die, so does their friends. Wait. <laughs> Lights shine to reveal the friends in cages. Oh, just a heads up, the cage is electrified. So don't go ahead and think of bending the bars. Oh, I think I see someone I know in the cage. Oh. Softy? I guess they never told you. Quit playing the pronoun game and tell me already. I can see why the boss couldn't trust you. The boss? But anyways, the guy told me about the rest of, of the officers here. Well, let's save that for later. A soundproof screen falls over the cage. No shouting out the answers. Okay. What is the name of the town that the monsters settled in after they got out of the ruins? That is Snowden. That's an easy one. It only gets tougher from here. Who is the captain of the Royal Guard? Dean. You're even... Grammar. You're even smarter than I thought for a human. Don't worry, crowd. We're going to turn up the heat in this next question. What is the name of the shop in Temi Village? shop? Seems I've doubted you. Intermediate questions. What was- who was the last king of the underground? Well, that would be Asgore. Did you- Where can you find the MTT resort? That is in the Hotlands. I am- <sighs> Exposing my nerd to everyone. <laughs> Who started the... Oh, that was... Gift trot? It was the, um... Oh, it was the antlered animal. I want to say it was gift trot. Oof. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. That was true. I was like, it should be gift trot. I never really remembered their names. What is Dr. Oh. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Pharaoh King, Bobo's Outlandish Journey, One Touch Guy. Buy one, get one free, eat toy swim champs. It's Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. It's because I know everything. Which of one isn't a royal guard member? Diamond Dog. Final question. He falls over, releasing your friends. I can't do it. You know what? Congratulations. I quit this show. Spare him? Yes, spare him. So I had to spare Crazy Dummy. You're gonna kill me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're you're welcome. Dummy is surprisingly sobbing. Sorry for what happened earlier. You mean what happened just now? Like right now? I'm trying to get into organized crime. 
I mean, I basically had nothing at all. So I kind of took a deal and ran. I really am a dummy. Don't do it, Sans. He beat you to it. Besides that, I'm going to fix this mistake, starting with the next operation operative in the Hotlands. I heard that this person is some sort of robot. Think Metaton, but less sexy. Metaton? Wait, you're telling me that that was a guess? Okay, Metaton is like one of your movie stars from the surface. But he's the only one around here and a robot, so... Anyways, on to the Hotlands. Spear repair kit. Surprisingly, it was next to the poorly drawn paper of some cross between a human and a cat. And Dean must be into some weird stuff. <laughs> Head off to the Hotlands. Oh, I wish Undine was drawn. Is Nalpis' lab right near the entrance from the waterfall? Why do you ask? Shouldn't we head there first? Isn't the reason why you came along was to find her in the first place? Yeah, I guess so. As you walk the way towards the hotland, Sans tries to talk to you. Does things seem a little odd? Th they always seem odd. I mean, did you hear Indine hesitate there? Last time her and Alphys were together, they seemed to be happy. It seems like she's given up on her almost. I don't know if that's so, but it kind of seems that way. I mean, she hasn't seen her for years. I mean, it would make sense. Do I mean? Do I mean? Are you saying that she thinks the Alphys is dead? Well... Yeah. After a few steps, you stumble into the lab. However, it seems to be defiled. However, it seems to be defiled. Looks like whoever kidnapped Alphys also wanted her research as well. They didn't want to take their time, yet they decided to take some measures to leave no evidence leading to who they are. I bet they're trying to set us up. Frisks notice a small... I'm misreading everything. Frisk notices a hole smashed through a side of a wall. It wasn't? Isn't that where Metaton went through? Oh, there's two of them. Got it. But he didn't make that one. They point to a hole knocked into a wall in front of you. Let's jump down the hole. Yeah, of course she is. She's... I just really want to jump down the hole. Alright. You fall for a couple seconds until a mattress breaks your fall below. Well, thank goodness... I didn't want any shattered femurs. But what the hell is this place? I don't know. I can't see anything. I got checkered screen. Wait, I think I remember this place. This was a monster testing area. This was when Gaster was a scientist, wasn't it? They had to close this place down years ago. Alphys was doing some experiments here. I don't know. This place is creepy. Sans is sweating. For some weird reason. Well. Yeah, technically that's canon because they did do research on monsters with determination. And it. Uh, I guess. Yeah, no, I guess. I don't even remember this place existing at all. Was she trying to hide something here? Before then, you hear an alarm go off. To stop violating investigation areas, all suspects will be brung to the new home palace to be placed under trial. A series of automated guards storm around you. Suspects apprehended returning to new home palace to be placed under court. <laughs> Robotic guard grabs your hands with extreme force to drag you away from the lab. They head off to a new home. You and your friends are escorted to the king's palace. As you look at the ground, you notice it looks like there were flowers once there. Your eyes continue to wonder until an unfamiliar voice speaks out. Oh, hello. Wait, 
Who the hell are you? Well, that's probably how I talk. I'm the... I'm a little concerned by the, the <laughs> new king for... Wait, I know who you are. You've been trying to go behind the government and start your own false royal guard. What kind of law is that? Dean's supposed to be one of the strongest monsters out there, and instead you go with a couple of robots. Sorry, I kind of don't follow that logic. Arg. Guards seize them. Aren't they already technically seized? Initiating prosecution. EXE file number 345. What the hell, man? What the hell? What the hell? The one trying to play the hero by assembling something that's already replaced. Everybody runs for the nearest window. Oh, I guess we weren't seized. Okay, get back here. I, I want to know who... Who was the new king? You all jump out of the window and onto the streets. Fortunately, it's not a long fall, like in the true lab. Can't believe we decided to jump off of something again. You could have taken shortcuts. I mean, you know how to do this, Sans. So you look around the alleyway, you start to see a huge goat-like person sleeping there. Oh. Hey, Sans. Yeah? Doesn't that guy look familiar? It's Asgore. Asgore sleeping in the alleyway. Asgore's a hobo. Looks too much like Asgore. Undine, there's no way that's Asgore. Besides, the guy probably hasn't slept in a while. You know what? You're right. This is stupid. I shouldn't wake him up. <laughs> Good. So, Sylva, I think... Yep. <laughs> if I was a loser, that is. Yep, I had a feeling. She jumped on him. She jumped on him. Jeez. Oh, God. This is not going to go well. Wait, I know who you are. Wait. You're here to steal my blankets. <laughs> God damn it. Man grabs the sheets frantically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Oh. So you're King Asgore, right? Yeah. Asgore. Can I please get, like, a placeholder image? Like, just a little thing that has the name Asgore when Asgore is supposed to be on the screen. Just something I can symbolize, because staring at this thing is... You guys are going to be so incredibly bored staring at a checkered background for 15 minutes at a time. I don't know how you do it. Ah, uh, I knew it all along, didn't I, Sans? At least they gave me Sans' picture. I kind of wish there was Undine in it, but, you know... What? Why did you... Well... <laughs> Isn't that frisk they've gotten so tall? I will say that I do like that they've referred to frisk as a they, or a them, or a their, as opposed to a him or a her, or a he or a she. Even though I've always saw frisk as a female, I know that there are people that see frisk as a male. And who are half these people? What's happened? Asgore's freaking out a little. When do we get to the dating part? Oh, I'm Silva, by the way. So, you spent time... I just, I just need to say this. You spent time... putting effort into drawing multiple images for an original character that is not canon in the story, but you have not finished any of the other pictures for the other characters that are canon and very much important in the story as crucial points. Mm. <sighs> that pendant. I've seen it before. Well, you should have. She still had the... Yeah. You can assume that the only two goat people in the underground probably knew each other. We got divorced, yeah. Santorial was queen of the underground, yes. Why has no one told me this? Because this seems like something that was common knowledge after Frisk fell. We were once married and we had a child of our own. Everything was going well until he died. 
so distraught that I ordered that every human that fell into the underground would be killed and harvested for their soul. I did this to use seven of the souls to break the barrier. I'm sorry. Just staring at this white text. Monsters do spread rumors. All right. After Friss came, I couldn't get my relationship with Toriel back, so now I'm single again. I have a question. How come you're out here living like a hobo? <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, people started not to like me. You know, after the thing with Frisk and whatnot, then Alphys disappeared all of a sudden, things started getting bad. So bad I resigned my position as king. By resigning, I mean faked my death. That might have been a little overboard. I really had no choice. Couldn't run this country. Person just kicked you out, however. I'm sure the council elected him. I don't think I've ever seen him before, now that I think about it. Where did he come from, then? Like, isn't the underground a sealed... Well, I guess it's not tech... It's not technically, because he said that they broke the barrier. Are monsters coming from, like, different locations, then? Yes, Asgore. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, but abandoning your post does make you a terrible leader. I don't want to reassure Asgore that everything is alright. It's alright, I guess. Thanks, Frisk. Oh, he's so cute! Thank you for drawing Asgore. Now I at least have an Asgore. He's so cute. Look at these big cow eyes. Goat eyes. Oh. That's not very cute. That's kind of creepy. Find out who you are, but you're wearing your cape? Maybe if you cover up your eyes and horns. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that is all the time I have for today. Join me for another episode. We will continue this. I don't know. I'm sorry. I am so tuckered out. I do not know how many episodes there are of this, in all honesty. Because I don't know how long this is going to be. Like, how far they've actually gone in this story. Considering that they've made the story, but haven't made any of the graphics. <laughs> so, thank you for joining me on Quits Gaming, and I will see you on the next episode. Hey guys, I'm Bear. I'm Silvermore. And thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, why not like, comment, or subscribe by clicking the button to the bottom of this video. Or you can check out our other social media sites in the description below or on this beautifully illustrated picture that Bear drew. So we'd like to give you guys thanks for everything. Uh, and if you like what you saw, try looking at some of the other videos. Always open to suggestions, so feel free to let us know if there's anything you'd like to see us play. Thank you for joining us again, and we will see you on the next episode. Bye, babies.